Hello to YouTube. I'm going to do a bike check. This is my 1988 Specialized Cirrus. And it's got a 105 group on it. So let's take a look at it. Okay, here we go. A few things about this bike. It's about a size medium. I ride a size 56, I'm 5'9", and this bike fits me like a glove. It's so awesome. One of the things that you get with an old steel bike is you get deflection in the front fork that you don't get on carpet bikes. So when you hit heavy cracks or ruts in the road, stuff like that, the bike just kind of holds it a straight line and it deflects that stuff off. Uh, makes them a lot of fun to ride. Um, in 1988, they still had uh, a lugged fork, so right here. Um, after 1988, they went to a uni, unicrown, I believe they call it, where it's all one piece. So this still has the older lugged fork on it. I've got newer 25 width tires on it. Uh, I run them at 100 PSI, and it's it's just... The front wheel's been replaced out. Um, I don't know if it was originally lost by the previous owner or he bent it or somebody stole it in a bike rack, but this is a Mavic wheel on here now, a 190FB. I believe both of them are 32 spoke. The rear is still the original wheel. Let's see if I can spin it to get the name of it. There it is. So it's a Wolber GTX. This is the cassette that's on it. It's a six speed on the rear. Um, it's got a SRAM chain on it. I guess the six, seven, eight speed chains are similar. Uh, it's got a Shimano 105 for the front derailleur. These are, these are, I use Look Keo for everything. It's just a heavy set of plastic uh, and steel clip-in pedals. The Biopace, so this is kind of a fun thing. So it's got, it's kind of like an oval, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like an oval chain ring. And this one is the opposite of what some of the newer ones are. So it makes you weaker in on your downstroke and upstroke, and it makes you stronger at the top and the bottom. So it's a little bit different than the way that they do it now, I think. And uh, just some aluminum cages with some bright bottles. Kind of has that 80s vibe to it. Um, index shifting, so when you shift, it makes a click noise instead of friction, but you can change it over to friction, you could do either way with it. I do like to keep it indexed, so that way it's nice and smooth on the shifting. Um, the handlebars look really clean from up top, it still has the original specialized stem on it. Uh, I just use a Garmin mount right there on it, and I don't run any speed or cadence sensors. I just let the GPS pick me up how fast I'm going. And brakes, there's no shifters or anything in the brakes. It just brakes. That makes for really clean cable routing. So when you're looking over the bike, on the newer bikes you see four cables sticking out or stuff like that it just it looks really clean it's kind of fun to ride the bike I'm using a specialized hinge seat not the most comfortable thing in the world I think I'm gonna switch it back out I'm gonna do a bit of a color change on this bike too so I'm gonna do white cables on it again and uh, probably dark pink cages and a white saddle Maybe some white 
vintage uh, specialized gum wall tires. Um, another nice thing about this bike is it has great brakes. So it's got the Shimano 105 brakes on it. It's not too scratched up. It has a few little nicks and scratches here and there. I think from somebody setting it at a bike rack. It's not scratched all the way through. It's just, it's kind of lightened up the paint a little bit where it's hit. So I may touch that up a little bit better, but it's not down to metal. So the bike looks like it was hardly ridden. It still has all the, all the, you know, paint on the arms. So if it was ridden too much, it wouldn't have that paint on there. It wears off. So, um, I've been really enjoying it. It's a 52-42 on the crank, but I don't do any hill climbing. I just do fast group rides with it, and uh, believe it or not, I can outride pretty much all my friends on this thing. <laughs> so, anyways, hope you enjoyed it.